Right, hopefully that's somewhere in the right place for what I need <clears throat> to come into view. So, uh... Electron? Or my mouth? Hey, how you doing there? Right, how am I going to do this? Bam, a second, man. Eh? Or not, it's your choice. It's your night. So... Have you had things going? I said, I'd sell my soul for a piece of good luck. I can't buy one, I can't steal one, and sure as hell, no one's gonna give me one. Alright, let's see what we can do here. What's that in the tunings of all gone? Oh, I do have oh, a man, I you get so many bad words for me. new song that I've just written. Feel free to sing along. <laughs> it's called Because. It's called Because I Don't Care. Um, and even though I wrote the lyrics as large as I could, <laughs> that helps me not at all. I just want to move forward. I'm stuck in one position, you say, because I lean against my walking frame these days to be able to do it. Let me just come forward a bit. Oh, if I can. Long as that's okay, we're gonna do it slow. If I'm given another day on the planet, if I'm able to, I'll record this electric tomorrow. <clears throat> okay. The song's in E. My uh, voice is in B sharp at the moment. So, one, two, three, four. Now, this isn't about anyone in particular. <coughs> Sorry, just being mischievous. This is one of those songs that just came to me, though. Sometimes I have... Oh, dear, 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 dear. You ever see Johnny Cash in Montreux in 1994? And he says, give me that guitar. He says, even I can feel that guitar is not in tune. <laughs> Think you like here now. One, two, three, four. Speak 
Cause I'm heading east You're a vampire of the soul But you've had your last feast I'm not one to glow But you've missed your boat I sleep easy now Without your hands on my throat The cupboard's bare There's nothing there Don't tell me that you're sorry Because I don't care Oh yes, the cupboard's bare There's nothing there Tell me that you're sorry Because I don't care Because I don't care I hate the stomp it when it's just... Let me just lean back on my walking frame. Say hello, little Uncle and Christopher. Hello, Uncle and Christopher. Hello, Uncle and Christopher. Hello, Uncle and Christopher. Christopher, walk in frame. <laughs> it please yourselves. <laughs> what was I saying there? Yeah, I hate that. What I was trying to say was I hate to stomp it when it's sustaining. But I was just like, oh, my fingers don't want to go. Will that one do for you when you want to hear another one? That's about half the pace I was... It, it would be played at, you know, on, on, on an electric one. And again, I must just point out, you know, that could be a man singing to a woman. It could be a woman singing to a man. It could be a man singing to another woman. It could be a woman singing to an aardvark called Gerald. That happens a lot around here, you know. And that's that Gerald. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, he's always hard, Vark. <laughs> um, I really don't want to walk over the camera. <gasps> it hurts so much to walk. I took the file over. Um, but it wasn't a very good version. I came in half a beat too early and threw myself off for the rest of the song. No. Time was I could throw myself off all night long, but those days are gone. Uh, shall I do a slow one? How did that go to E flat? How about if I play it and you sing it? Bob Dylan was playing some religious concerts in 1980. He was on this born again um, phase. And, uh, and then he was saying, you know, I think that's pretty interesting. I don't think anyone's ever done this before, you know, to go out and sing a whole new bunch of songs, you know, that the audience had never heard before and was not what my audience expected. And he said that in hindsight. Well, what did Little Richard do in 1960, you know? Little Richard went on stage and said, I'm not playing that rock and roll devil music. I'm only going to sing songs the Lord gave me, or whatever, you know. But anyway, so, you know, people in the audience, they're just hissing at Dylan. And somebody said, lay, 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 lay. And uh, I think it was in Connecticut, 5th of May, 1980. Might have been the 8th of May, 1980. It'll be on Google somewhere, I'm sure. And, uh, <laughs> being dyslexic, uh, you know, no, actually I won't do that joke, <laughs> uh, but uh, I have a whole series of dyslexic jokes, Google is one of them, and uh, what's that very talented American comedian called, uh, I have to be very careful, I think her name is 
Devi Lysak or something like that. Uh, and it comes from a true story. I'm dyslexic and the first time I saw her name in print it came up on the Tonight Show on YouTube one day. Something you might like, you know, for the humour and this humour, not just for the intense uh, inferno-like beauty that she has. I'm going off subject here, aren't I? Anyway, so I leave it going, no. And, um, and then, so someone goes, no, no, delay. And Dylan says, well, I'll play it and you sing it. And he starts playing it in the chords, you know, that. B minor. And nothing. And <laughs> the crowd just, no. <laughs> you can understand it, you know. We didn't come here to pay you a fortune to sing your songs for you, you know. Mm. That still happens now. He was, uh, he played some concert in America on the Outlaw Tour. And uh, I think it was last week. And there's a video of it on, on, uh, on YouTube. I've split my finger now. Yeah. Write it down in your diary. <laughs> Feel free to start a crowdfunding page for me. I mean, here I am, standing here, you know, propped up on a walking frame in the end stage of functional motor neurone disease. And what am I here? Oh no, I broke a fingernail. <laughs> Priorities. Um, what was I talking about then? Like, oh yeah, and um, there's a, a audience audience video of it um, on YouTube and Dylan's there playing about an hour into his set, which I think lasted like 65 minutes, someone just had to play something the crowd know. He was playing all these obscure cover versions of Little Queenie and Hang Blue Bayou or something like that. And his own songs, it's like, you know, if you made a, you know, of all the Bob Dylan greatest hits, compilations and box sets, and about three of the songs appeared on it, you know. Anyway, I'm going to do another version of this. I think the legs have healed up enough for me to stumble over here. If you hear a loud crunch, you'll know they haven't. My beautiful daughter there. She's so gorgeous. And there's my amazing son there. Two years old. <laughs> <laughs>